What is a Raspberry Pi? The Raspberry Pi is a series of credit card sized single board computers developed in England, United Kingdom by the Raspberry Pi Foundation with the intent to promote the teaching of basic computer science in schools in developing countries. Welcome back everybody to another video and in this video we'll be taking a look at Alexa running on the Raspberry Pi. So what is Alexa? Who are you? I'm Alexa and I'm designed around your voice. I can provide information, news, weather and more. So as you guys heard Alexa is uh, an artificial intelligence uh, voice assistant designed by A Amazon to compete against uh, Google Now and Apple's Siri. Now, if you guys have heard, uh, Amazon has had devices called the Amazon Echo that uh, are basically just voice assistant cylindrical shaped uh, gadgets that uh, stay on your desk and you can interact with them and ask them questions but recently uh, amazon posted a guide on their github page about how to install that on your raspberry pi so let's take a look with all the hardware required to do that and i will be providing links uh, for tutorials for you guys to follow Alright, so first take a look on uh, what hardware we are running on. So here we have all the hardware required. Uh, as you can see, I already have my HDMI monitor attached. We have a keyboard and our mouse attached. Uh, we would also need a speaker attached. Uh, you can use the HDMI monitors uh, speaker if you have them in build or you can use a 3.5 mm jack. Now I am using a DI, uh, a kind of a ghetto DIY speaker here uh, that takes input directly and the power directly from the Raspberry Pi. What you also need and which is kind of uncommon is a USB microphone. Now uh, the Pi does not have a mic input so you will be needing an external USB microphone. Now instead of going out and buying one uh, it's uh, very easy to actually use one of uh, these microphones that are inbuilt uh, in the webcam uh, so they can also be used uh, if you have a USB webcam you, you can use those uh, of course though uh, remember to set a max USB current equal to 1 uh, in the config.txt and you will be good to go now coming back to the screen we have our uh, three main windows uh, that Alexa runs on the first one is a uh, service window that runs on node.js and the other one is the java client win window uh, now how to install uh, alexa voice service on the raspberry pi uh, the link is in the description do check that out and it's uh, it's a very comprehensive and detailed guide so i don't think there should be any problem i did it in first go and just follow each and every step cleared up well enough and you will be good to go so let's take a look at uh, some more questions uh, and what all uh, alexa can answer so let's ask her the weather so now as you guys would have noticed uh it's not as uh, always on or as responsive as you would get in professional uh, devices or consumer grade devices you do have to uh, click on the start listening button and then it will listen and when you uh, click on stop it will stop and then respond so let's ask her how the weather is how is the weather in seattle it's 48 degrees with cloudy skies today you can look for thunderstorms with a high of 52 and a low of 39 Alright, so as you guys can see, uh, Alexa is not that well into integrated uh, into my system or even my network. At least the Alexa on the Raspberry Pi is not. Uh, I live in New Delhi and it is 
uh, giving me the temperature in Seattle. Now that's a long way from here. Uh, let's ask her about the temperature in New Delhi. What is the temperature in New Delhi? Currently, in Delhi, India, it's 72 degrees with mostly clear skies. Today, you can expect hazy sunshine with a high of 93 and a low of 66. Also, there aren't many options like uh, I wanted to change Fahrenheit to Celsius uh, and change the units to a uh, metric, but it won't let me. It stays in imperial uh, units. Uh, and so uh, this is a very, uh, let's say, experimental thing and only if you really want to uh, check out some parts of Alexa. Uh, all right, what else we can ask her? What are the highest and the low lowest points on earth? I wasn't able to understand the question I heard. What is the highest point on earth? The highest headland is Mount Everest. What is the lowest point on earth? At 408 meters. 1,340 feet below sea level. The surface of the Dead Sea is the lowest point on Earth. Alright, so let's go ahead and try to do uh, the same thing with uh, Google now. And I think then we'll uh, better understand uh, what the difference is. What is the highest and the lowest point on Earth? According to Info.com, the lowest point on land is the Dead Sea between Israel and Jordan, which is 1,312 feet below sea level. The highest point on land is the top of Mount Everest at 29,028 feet above sea level, plus or minus 10 feet because of snow. Alright, so as you guys can see, uh, and also here, Google now is a lot more uh, intuitive, a lot more understanding and has a lot more complex working uh, now I asked the same question and Alexa did not understand the question I had to divide the question into two point uh, parts so like what is the highest point on earth and the second was the what is the lowest point on earth now Alexa told, it did not give me that much information it, it just said this uh, for example just said Mount Everest is the highest point and that's it it did not give me uh, information where and how high it was and similarly for the lowest point on earth uh, now as you guys can see Google now gave uh, first of all Google now was able to understand the whole question and uh, at, at one go it had two parts uh, what is the highest point and the lowest point on earth and understood and it replied Set a countdown timer for 15 seconds. Alright, so let's just try the same thing with Alexa on the Raspberry Pi. Start a countdown timer for 15 seconds. 15 seconds, starting now. So as you guys can see, even without an interface, it's uh, you can set things like alarm and countdown timer and it will all work uh, really fine. No issues there. So a great step forward by Amazon to bring a voice assisted uh, service, a professional grade voice assisted service uh, to the maker 
community and to actually integrate with a device like raspberry pi that others can uh, also work on so a big shout out to amazon for doing this uh, and an awesome small little project that you can do in your home and thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time